everyone and welcome back to STEAM at Home where we bring our STEAM club into your house. This week we are making our own robot hands. These hands might look like a hand of a robot, but they're really modeled after the same way that our own hands work. While we use tendons to move our fingers, our hands will use yarn and straw. This is an example of what your hand might look like when it's done. Hold on, you might be saying, what do you mean tendons? Well, a tendon is the muscles in our hand that move. Take a look at the back of your hand while you move your fingers around. Can you see the tendons, the muscles moving? This kind of movement allows us to move each finger individually and to move them all at once. And with this system, we can recreate that with our sort of robotic hand. First, we have to use these straws, and we cut them up like so for a very specific reason. These straws kind of act like our skeleton, the same way we have our bones in our hand to keep them structured. That's what these straws do, and we use them cut up like this to represent our joints, which is why you can bend this finger at some very specific points. You can do that as well with these. It's not quite as articulated as it might be. Also, this one uses cardboard, which is a harder material to work with. Your hand will be made out of paper. And so each, well, the straws represent your skeleton. Each straw, each yarn, will represent one of your tendons. Each string can only control one finger at a time, so you can't pull this string and expect your thumb to move. But you can also pour on more than one to manipulate two fingers at once, much like you can with your hands. This hand probably can't do all the things that your hand can, like it cannot pick something up or really do really extended movements, but it's still pretty cool. Can you make it into a fist? Make it do the peace sign? Let me know. All right, folks, that was a pretty quick explanation of what we did at Steam at Home today. We hope you enjoyed this project and we can keep an eye out for our next one coming soon. You can find more information about what we're doing at Chicopee Public Library's website on our Facebook page or you can always just give us a call and let us know how your project went. Thanks guys!